Hello, I'm Trent aka O Trademark here. I just want to clarify a few, clarify a few things about the Easter event for Anime Champions. Uh, we had a lot of questions about people asking why the event stops dropping Easter eggs. Uh, that's because there's a maximum eggs that you can farm daily. It was 1 million. Uh, we are shutting down for a patch here in just a minute. But uh, starting basically after the 15.1.1 update, you'll be able to farm 1.2 million daily. And when you actually do farm those, let me just start. Uh... You'll uh, actually see that now reflected in the Easter Merchant to uh, not confuse people. Uh, we also changed how these Easter egg events work because a lot of people were, were basically unable to kill stuff in public servers. So now how it works is rather than you needing to, you know, kill a certain amount of an enemy to receive credit, uh, if you deal even a little bit of damage, uh, if you damage basically an enemy at all when it dies, you're going to get a significant portion of the Easter eggs. Everyone else won't be affected. It's just basically we're boosting uh, the amount of eggs earned for newer players or players that don't have a lot of damage. Uh, if you deal like the majority of the damage, you're still going to get the same amount of eggs as you had before. Uh, however, we did also adjust where the eggs are coming from. So rather than like be previously, like 90% uh, of the eggs were coming from bosses. And now we've actually spread it out. So each enemy is rewarding approximately the same. Uh, the, whole, the goal is from this is to allow newer players or weaker players to be able to farm eggs and not just the strong players that one shot everything. Uh, so that's that's a couple of the changes. We also changed it. So now you can see I have 27.3k Easter eggs. If I go back to Champion City, uh, you'll see that that will now be reflected in the merchant. So if I walk up here, you can see 27.6. That just means when I reconnect, uh, I should get, if in fact, if I... Well, I won't do it right now, but when I reconnect, I should receive those other 300. They're probably just left around in the map and they were uncollected. But now you can see your amount that you can actually farm daily and when it's going to actually reset here. Uh, so that should work. Another few changes that we actually had in 15.1.1 is that you can now buy multiple of the skins. So if... Uh, If I buy, you know, you can see now it's not just limited one. I can buy as many of these skins as I want and they'll be reflected there. Um, let's see. And then also uh, I had a lot of, I, I keep getting a lot of questions about how the astral pity works and the godly pity. There is a universal astral pity. So let me just show you guys that. If I open 10 Easter summons and then, uh, this applies to Galaxy 1 summons, Galaxy 2 summons, One Punch, any any capsule which actually has an Astral in it will count towards your Astral Soft Pity. Uh, if you guys don't know the odds, it's 1 in 500 to get an Astral. And then once you surpass 500, basically it starts, that's when the Soft Pity kicks in, just like Godly. Godly is a 1 in 100 chance. So if I get the data for me on Pity Counters 2, you guys aren't going to be able to see this very well since this is a very small text. But basically, there is a secret to pity right here. You can see it's 60. And then if I open 10 more, uh, that will increase by 10. So that applies to like all your, um, all of the capsules that have astrals in it. So the idea is that, because it wouldn't be very fair to like, you know, require people to just continue to open in old worlds to go for older astrals. So since it's such a rare chance to actually get it, it just carries over uh, universally regardless of what you're opening. The only thing that you should watch out for if if you understand what that means is if in the future, once we have, you know, 10 additional worlds in the game and there's 10 new astrals in the game, you don't want to accidentally use your pity. Like if your pity is uh, very high, you don't want to accidentally use it on like, let's say a... Uh, I don't know, like a random cosmic summon and happen to get like the very first astral instead of the most recent astral. A lot of people have requested a way to see their current soft pity numbers like I'm actually doing within uh, a command right here. Uh, we are aware of that. We're working on a, a method to actually implement it. It's a lot of UI change. Let me just double check right here. So you can see the secret two has increased by 10 when I open 10 Easter summons. Probably what we'll end up doing is just showing your multiplier. 
So uh, when your pity is below the point where it kicks in, you'll just see a 1x ult multiplier. And then let's say that I've opened 200 of the same capsule and I hadn't gotten a godly yet, then it would show my, my godly uh, pity multiplier at 5x because when you're 2x past the point of the the average odds for something then you're at five times the luck so uh, <laughs> i know that was a little bit confusing but basically how it works is if you've opened 200 of the same capsule without a godly in it you're going to be at five times the luck so instead of a one in 100 chance you're actually going to be at a one in 20 chance it it works like this and then past 2x luck it actually scales up dramatically so if you ever got to the point where you're at like 250 opens then you would be right here around like eight times luck and then it just goes to if you it basically approaches infinity to the point where you would really not realistically get past uh you know 300 opens unless you're extremely unlucky so uh yeah but i do understand that there is a great need for actually implementing a way to visually see that and understand how your soft pity is applying um and we'll probably uh add something to the summon UI so that it's easier to understand. One last thing I want to mention about the Easter event. A lot of people have been messaging me. Why don't I have the Carrot Slicer Cosmic Skin? Um, it is actually not part of the quest. It's just in this egg right here. So if you go to the egg that's by the Devourer and you open this egg, you can only open one egg daily egg per day. This one over here by the Devourer does have that uh, skin in it. So if we go to skins, and look down here here's the so this is a free to play cosmic wild card skin it's definitely a, i've heard a lot of people asking for ways that free to play players can actually obtain uh cosmic wild card skin so there you go there's the free one you just got to make sure that you open this easter egg you can open one of these big easter eggs every day and they have uh they have various holiday boost rewards and whatnot in them so just make sure you open that one over there by the start of hour and you will get your uh cosmic wild card skin and I think that's just about it for the Easter update. Oh, uh, the last thing is for the season pass, people have been asking when the new one's going to come. Uh, we just have to figure out the bugs that are existing with the claim all button, and then we'll introduce the new season five season pass. It should be here this week. Probably, most likely it'll just come uh, because we'll have to do a shutdown. So most likely it'll just come with the new update this weekend. So yes, new world update this weekend make sure you come check it out thank you guys so much for supporting the game appreciate it malo ampito thanks for watching peace i'm out of here